We all know how grandparents can be, believe me, especially around technology. Well, I think I've found a solution with a Wi-Fi thermostat. And this way, I can change the temperature if she needs it or if she's having trouble with her thermostat. And this way, I don't have to come over to her house every single time she has a problem with her thermostat. Sounds pretty good to me. So the first thing that we need to do when replacing a thermostat, and this is for any thermostat, is remove the top cover and look at your wires and then mark them with a with stickers that came with the thermostat. So we're going to start by unscrewing each wire one at a time. So like we did with the first wire here, we need to go one at a time and mark each wire. Okay, so we remo removed and labeled all of our wires. But when I was doing that process, I found that this thermostat doesn't have a C wire. It was using battery power. Well, for the new um, Wi-Fi thermostat, we will need a C wire um, it, because the radio requires 24 volt power. So we will need a C wire. So you will get to see in this video how to make a G wire a C wire. And so we'll have to go down to the furnace and find G. So right down here is the HVAC terminal block of the furnace. R is here, C is here, Y is here, G is here, and W is here. So I'm going to take the G or green wire here, and I'm going to move it to the C position here. Okay, so we moved the G wire to the C terminal, and now we'll be able to use that as our C wire. I've mounted the thermostat and screwed in the wires. Also, I've used the G wire as a C wire by screwing it into the ports, the C ports on both ends of the wire. So now that the thermostat has power, we will need to provision the thermostat so that we can connect to it on the internet. To test if your thermostat is wired correctly, or to test your AC if your AC is working, simply press the mode button on the side of the thermostat until it's in cool, and then tap the down arrow, and this will turn on the AC. And we're going to go around back and check to make sure the AC is working. As you can see, the AC is working and everything, so that's a good sign, and that means that we wired the thermostat correctly. So we're now going to turn off the AC and test to make sure the heat or the heater is working. So to do this, we'll just hit tap the mode button, and it'll be in heat and tap the up arrow until you hear a click like that and now you can hear a little rumble that should be the furnace we're gonna head downstairs real quick and check it out and there you have it the furnace is working properly so that's great both the AC and the furnace are working which means the thermostat has been wired correctly and is ready for use.